There are many different sizes, shapes, colors, and places the volcanoes can be, but nothing can compare to the breathtaking Mount Etna. Mount Etna of Italy is thought to be the world's oldest active volcano. The first record of its eruptions dates back to 15,000 BC. Since then, Etna has erupted 190 times. It is one of the largest continental volcanoes and has the largest record of historic eruptions. Shield volcanoes Shield volcanoes are large volcanoes that are built mostly, most entirely of lava. It has broad slipping sides that is usually surrounded by gentle hills. Shield volcanoes may be produced by hotspots which lay far away from the edges of tectonic plates. Feel shields also occur along the mid-ocean ridge. Rising gradually to more than 4 kilometers above sea level, Mount, Lu Mount Luan, or Mount Lua, is the largest volcano on our planet. It descends to the sea floor an additional five kilometers and the sea floor down to to go another eight kilometers. This makes the volcano summit about seventeen kilometers above its base. An enormous volcano covers half of the island of Hawaii and by itself amounts to about eighty five percent of all the other eighty percent of all the other Hawaiian islands combined. Mauna Lulu is among the Earth's most active volcanoes, having erupted 33 times since its well-documented historic eruption in 1843. Its most recent er eruption ha was in 1984. Mauna Lulu is certain to erupt again, and scientists carefully monitor the volcano for any signs of eruption. Cinecons. Cinecons are ch chiefly formed by Domlin eruptions. They grow rapidly and soon reach their maximum size. Cinder cones can occur alone or in a small group or fields. Most have a bowl-shaped crater at the summit. The longer the eruption, the higher the cone. They rarely exceed 250 meters in height and 500 meters in diameter, although some may rise to a high as 650 meters or more. If gas pressure drops, the final stage cinder cone construction may be a lava flow that breaks through the base of the cone. The shape of a cinder cone may be modified during its life. Nested, buried, or breached cones are formed when the power of the eruption varies. A great example of a cinder cone is Patacan in Mexico. It was born on February 20, 1943 in a cornfield and grew 300 feet in five days. But by 1952, it had grown to a record-breaking 9,210 feet. The Patacan is one of the was one of the most recent volcanoes to have formed in the Western Hemisphere and is considered one of the seven wonders of the natural world. Composite volcanoes are commonly called Stravo volcanoes, formed from many layers of hardened ash and lava. They can get 8,000 feet tall. They have a periodic, they are very periodic and unpredictable eruptions. They can produce unpredictable, oh, they can produce the most explosive eruptions when they do erupt. Eruptions can consist of toxic volcanic ash or la lava. Volcanic lava can be thin and or runny to thick and goopy. Cascade volcanoes are a number of volcanoes in the volcanic arc in Western America, North America, extending from the southwestern British Columbia through Washington and Oregon to North California, a distance well over 700 miles. The arc has formed due to subduction along the Cascade subduction zone. The Cascade volcanoes extend north to the coast mountains, past the Fraser River, which is northward lit to the Cascade Range proper. All of the cities on the range could be potentially affected by volcano activities and great subduction zone earthquakes along the arc. Because the population of the Pacific Northwest is rapidly, la rapidly increasing, the Cascade volcanoes are some of the most dangerous due to the past eruption history and potential eruptions. The Cascade volcanoes are part of the Ring of Fire, the ring of volcanoes that associates mountains around the Pacific Ocean. All of the well-known historic eruptions in the United States have been from the Cascade volcanoes. The two most recent were Lassen Park Peak in 1914 to 1921, the major eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980. It is also the site of Canada's most recent major eruption about 2,350 years ago at Mount Meager Volcanic or Volcano.